and I'll come match my actions. Talk then I back it. Great example, I'm the standard. Come to preaching what you practice. It's week two of the NFL, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Jets and the Cowboys, and it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Time for Dak Prescott of the Dallas offense to go to work. Prescott, of course, the former fourth-round pick in 2016 out of Mississippi State. And normally in this spot, we talk about passing numbers from last week, but this time, it's all about the rushing. Three times he found the end zone in his last ball game. He is a do-everything quarterback, and you have to expect to see him call his own number here as well. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Honoring the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now a man who's taken the reins with the Cowboys. It's Tony Pollard, and he'll be out right at the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. The rushing numbers for Pollard last week. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, Getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Here's the veteran. It's Ronald Jones. Pass the 20. Down the sideline he goes. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Dak's going to keep it. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Now here's Pollard. And he'll get him! Touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. The extra point splits the uprights. And that makes the score 7-0. So that winds up a seven-play drive on two. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And on the return from his end zone, Malik Taylor. Now the new look Jets ready to go on offense and it is the veteran Aaron Rodgers at quarterback and he certainly had his share of struggles in the opener through a couple of ill-time interceptions in the game so that was something that was harped upon all week in practice because if he's going to help this team be a winning one he can't give the football away like he did last week the Rodgers and the Jets now with a first and 10 at their own 18 Oh, did the Jets miss this guy? Here's Bruce Hall. The numbers for him from a week ago. 15 carries, 70 yards. They put a lot of effort into game playing, establishing this ground game last week, and reward was a nice day rushing the ball. Helped them put a balanced offense out on the field. And that carry is an indicator that this ground game wants to be established again this week. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. To throw is Rodgers. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. 
On third down, here's Hall. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. Now this offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. Well, they trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. And a powerful stiff arm to freeze him. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. To throw, it's Rodgers. He finds Corey Davis. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. Now he's loose, got the left sideline. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14 nothing. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception. Navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taylor decides not to try to return it. And this will come out to the 25-yard line. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute draw all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Let's take it at around the 40. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Steps away. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. Escaping the pressure right. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Now Prescott, rolling to his right. Touchdown, Cowboys! Dak Prescott, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, this offensive unit, yeah, they were solid in the opening week victory, and now they are looking just as sharp here in week two. And that's exactly what you want, too, because you want to get better each and every week and really ramp up as the season goes on. I know it's still early in the season and a lot can happen, but this offense, they look like they're going to be fun to watch each and every time out. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 21 to 10. Good drive there, only 
and spanning three planes. And it was all capped off by Dak Prescott, keeping it and taking it in on the touchdown run. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Jets going to go on offense one last time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and 10. At the 21 yard line. Hall again on second down. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game. So Sorry, Coach, put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball into the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. On play action. Now Rodgers. Open man is Uzama. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. Here's Thomas Morstead now, standing just outside his own goal line. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown of the game. Fourth of the year. And the Cowboys are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Now the try here for the point after. Well, this will frustrate a coach right here. The flag is out before they get off the extra point. And this is going to be a delay of game. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. They'll try it again now after the five-yard walk-off. It's good, and they stretch their lead to 28-0 now. Well, it's no secret. That's why they have him return punts. He has the capability to take him back, and he did so there. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. 
And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. I'd love to know what he's saying in the huddle now to his guys up front because it's been a steady stream of pressure on him this entire game. That time, able to avoid the sack, but he's got to talk to his offensive line and say, guys, just a couple seconds extra, please. Ball well, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on the punt for New York. Taken from just outside the 30. Go, take it to the, house. the time to get another look at this Cowboys offense. Now the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead, before... there he goes left side, down the left sideline, inside the 20, touchdown, Cowboys! Tony Pollard, 73 yards, and the Cowboys are able to extend their lead final seconds of this third quarter. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes this 35 to nothing now. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Rodgers again now. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I think this one offensively, this is one where you just say, Let's move on. Let's not even watch the game tapes from this one. Yeah, you might just want to throw it in the trash, act like it was never there in the first place. Yeah, just say we're good. I actually have heard of a coach in the past who took his team out to the practice field and ceremonially buried the game films from the prior game when they got clobbered. That's his way of putting it behind him. Here's Thomas Morstead now. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Here's Pollard again. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. 117 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. 
Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Well, Prescott here to throw. Flush to his right. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Flushed out right. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets. 23. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. Eluding the pressure right. And it's caught. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Extra point attempt here still to come. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's finished off by the touchdown from CeeDee Lamb. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. And yeah, three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point, as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Dancing to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. It's caught at the 10. A big play here for Dallas. 61 yards. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Binds. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game in the NFL. We hear it all the time. We know that it's difficult. But guess who's smiling? But inside is thinking 24-hour rule because we're going to have to play again next week. Boss man. Oh, without a doubt. The head coach, he wants them to feel good. But at the same time, find a way to keep improving. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. 
if you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone on that offense knows it'll sting a lot worse if they don't put some points up on the board. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Rough incompletions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. One final try now for Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And I tell you what, Charles, this might be about as good as it gets. They were incredible. Yeah, offense was in fine form. The defense threw the shutout at them. I think they worked in combat. Run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back, run it back.